They're brand new in the box Converse. Like, Courtney, quit being cheap. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about my what solds items I sold on eBay for big money. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's get started here. All right, so the first item I sold is this lot of Star Wars figures, vehicle accessories, weapons, and I just put toys in the title. I do not like selling Star Wars. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, but if you watched my video footage, I it was a Goodwill Ben's haul. No, I'm sorry, a Goodwill haul. And I picked up a bag full of Star Wars figures. I couldn't pass it up. The price was a good. And I parted it out somewhat. But these figures, I'm guessing I had between 3 and $5 for all of these items here. Could I have made more money parting this out? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. I ended up selling this for $52.50 plus shipping. And like the one guy, he's missing his leg. I don't know which weapons go with which figure. So I just kind of laid it all out and the buyer can figure out uh, what goes with what. All right, the next item is this 2012 Hallmark ornament, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack sneaks a peek. And Nightmare Before Christmas, definitely a bolo. If you can find these ornaments, whether they're Hallmark or not, um, I just did another video where I sold one in the $40 range and it was not branded Hallmark. It was, uh, it said Disney on the bottom, but not Hallmark. And I did not have the box for that one. So that, I'll talk, I talk about that one in another video, but this one was Hallmark with the original box. These came out of a mystery box. I probably got, I want to say six or seven of these. Most of them have sold. I think I have a couple left and all of them have sold for between 40 and $50. Definitely a big money bolo. Super exciting. Um, I lost my footage for these as well. So you will not get to see me finding these in the mystery box, unfortunately. Um, I bought like 30 boxes and I was going to put all of those over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. That's where I do the unboxing videos. And I did all of them in like a couple days, saved all the footage and was going to kind of release them over the next month. And I deleted it all, deleted all of it. So, uh, that footage is gone, but this came out of one of those boxes, sold this for $49 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage sheer toddler baby dress. And I talked about this in my toddler dresses. So right after uh, this sold, I made a video teaching you guys about dresses, baby and toddler dresses to be on the lookout for. If you have not seen that video, definitely go check it out. Amazing what some of these can go for. I originally sold this for on auction. It was like 200 and almost $20. I was super, super excited about it. And the buyer did not pay, unfortunately. So it was relisted and somebody offered me 150. We went back and forth. I think they were at 125 and they ended up coming up to my 150 that I wanted, which was hard to take because I had already sold it in the $200 range, but I was like, you know what? I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. Just take it. Now, here is an update. And I don't know. Let me know what you guys would have done. I received an email from the buyer and they were upset because something, let, let me read my, let's see. No tag, might be handmade, not sure, sold as is, as seen. So I did put sold as is, as seen. There is a tear, tear near the tie that will need sewn as seen in photo 10. The back bow looks to be on with a safety pin. Item is pre-owned, vintage condition. Hard to find dress, could be one of a kind if handmade. Not sure of size, please see photos for measurements. So I feel like I covered my bases. But they sent me a photo and what they did was they took a screenshot of my photo, this main photo, and you see right here along the edge, 
how it's pulling away from the hem. I did not mention that. I don't remember seeing that when I listed it. I feel like I would have disclosed it. And they said that they wanted a partial refund so that they could get this fixed. And I said, well, it's in the photo that you just sent me, which is my photo. So if they looked at the photos, they should have seen it. But I also feel like because I didn't disclose it and I typically disclose things like that, I feel like I missed it. So my options were one, have them return the item or two, give them a partial refund. So I asked them, what did you have in mind for a partial refund? And they said $25. So this was an international sale. If I would have had them return it, I would have been out shipping cost both ways. $25 would have been less than that. I don't feel like $25 was too big of an ask. I mean, some people are going to say, give me 50, give me half back, you know, so they said 25 bucks. And it's kind of funny because I feel like that was what they were offering me. And then I countered at 150. So they ended up getting their way. Did they see this right here before they purchased it? I'm going to say they may have, may not have, but I definitely would have disclosed it if I would have seen it. So I'm going to take responsibility for that. I'm going to offer them the partial refund for my mistake, and I am going to move on. Now, had this been a local sale, like in the USA, would I have forced the return? I don't know, maybe, um, because I do feel like it was in the photo. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys would have done in the comments. I messaged one of my friends and she's like, force the return <laughs> because, you know, I feel like a lot of people take advantage of uh, resellers and sellers in general on eBay by opening a return. And a lot of times the sellers will just issue a refund. I don't do that. I force the return um, every single time. And this was an exception. So. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys would have done. So still $125 sale on a dollar pickup. Very happy with that. This is a full circle. If you get a dress like this and it fans out into a full circle, you want to put full circle in the title. All right. The next item I sold is this vintage Big George 1989 uh, TY, tie. Oh, I can't remember what it is. Ape Jumbo Stuffed Animal. I purchased this in a mystery plush lot. I paid $50 free shipping for a lot of plush from uh, Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And I did a um, unboxing of it. And it was against the Rebel reseller. She also bought a box. So definitely go check those out. You can find um, her unboxing on her channel. And you guys can tell us who you think had the best box. But this guy right here... Um, I talked about this in another video. A lot of people had them sitting like this in their photos. And I'm like, his feet are weighted and he's going to stand up. So I'm going to make my listing stand out. And he ended up selling for a best offer of $50 and was all in for $74.10. So a uh, very, very cool, fun item. And if you don't know, Jumbo, Jumbo Stuffed Animals from the 80s. How cool is that? The next item are these Converse, and I picked these up at a garage sale. The funny thing is, as I walked back to my car, got in my car because they were, I want to say they were 10, and I got, I made an offer of eight, or I said, what's your best? I usually say, what's your best? And they said eight. And I walked to my car, and I sat there, and I looked them up, and I'm like, they're brand new in the box Converse. Like, Courtney, quit being cheap because I like to get my stuff for like five bucks or less. And I ended up picking them up for $8 and sold these for $80.50 plus shipping. And they sold really, really quick. So, you know, new in the box items. I, I don't know why I, I, I just should have grabbed them. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, on to the next one. This guy right here, I picked up at a garage sale for $3.25. There were three of them, and I think I paid like 10 bucks for all three. These guys are not small. They are like a yard decor, I think. Uh, what's he, about 12 inches there? Super, super cute, hand-painted, vintage. Uh, I had three of them, maybe, maybe on a porch or something like that. I guess you could put them inside. But they did take a while to sell. So am I recommending that you pick these up? 
mm, if you're patient. Vintage resting gnome elf ceramic hand painted shelf decor, red and blue. And I ended up selling him for full asking sale price of $55.99 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage Japanese sake lithophane photograph cups, gods of happiness, rare find. I could not find anything like this. I rarely use the word rare. I typically will put HTF, which means hard to find. Check these out. They have, these are photographs in the bottom. And when you add water to them, let me show you. I have a uh, video right here. Let me see if I can get it to pull up how cool these so are. I found these items and I had no idea what they were. I just saw them sitting there. They looked interesting. So I bought them to resell. They have it, what appears to be a photograph down on the inside, but it's kind of hard to see. You have to look very closely and you can see it's a woman's face. So I joined a Facebook group called What Is This? It was referred to me by a friend and they said to fill up the cups with water and you'll be able to see the photograph better. So that is what I'm doing here. And sure enough, it magnified the picture by a lot. So what I also learned is that that is called a lithophane. I think I'm saying that right, lithophane. And that is what the photograph in the bottom and you can see I'm trying to hold the camera and actually look into the cup for you guys. And I keep knocking it over. So a lithophane, I learned that. And then I also learned that these are the seven gods of happiness. However, I only have six cups. So I must be missing one. I'm not sure who is who or what is what or what any of that means. I have not re researched it any further. I'm going to be listing these in my eBay store. I will probably do an auction because the price is. Okay. So I put that in my eBay listing. That way people can go down and see how they work. I don't know if you can change out the photos or not, but really cool find. They did take a long time to sell. Um, I picked these up at a thrift store for $3, took a best offer of 50 on those. The buyer was all in for $69.21. The next item I sold is this Vintage Dimensions Cruel Kit Advent ABC's uh, Chris Davenport 1984. Hard to find, new old stock. Got this at a thrift store for $2.50. I have footage of this. Um, it was a video um, that I did of a uh, thrift store haul. And I was actually in there, picked it up. I knew that it was going to be good, but it was really good. I ended up selling this for $150. The buyer was all in for $170.28. The next item is another Hallmark ornament, Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas. This one is from 2010. These sold so fast, super fast, big money bolos right here. And I sold this for a best offer of $45 plus shipping. And that also came out of a thrift store mystery box. The next item is this, oh, one of my favorites, vintage celluloid ring jewelry presentation box. Hard to find, rare item, check it out. Um, I saw this at a garage sale and I knew that I wanted it. It's another item that I kind of paid up for. I paid $8 for it, which is a lot for me. And I ended up selling this for $140 plus shipping. And you can see the measurements here, just a beautiful, cool old box. I could totally see somebody like that is into vintage and antique items, putting like a, a wedding ring in it to propose to their spouse that, or their future spouse, their fiance, um, with like a vintage or an antique ring. How cool would that be? Anyway, $140 plus shipping on that one. Let me know down in the comments. Did you know about the ring cases? The next item was a major surprise and a major bolo. So I was at a garage sale. Uh, there's footage of this in a video. And I've been trying to think about things that I can put on whatnot. So I was looking for like smaller, like figurines, little things like that, because I don't want to just bring the same thing. 
And I saw all of these little um, pieces like this. And they were 50 cents a piece. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab some of the items in this box. But then I started thinking, I don't have anything like this in my eBay store. So I don't know when I'm going to do whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these items on eBay. So I started to research them. And oh my goodness, this is a vintage rabbit figurine, Watership 1982, Holly Royal Orleans gray figurine bunny. Right there is what's on the bottom. You guys, I looked at this. I did not think it was anything special. I looked up comps and I could not believe it. Um, this is another one where worth point definitely paid off. So if you're not using worth point and it's expensive, but it is worth it. And somebody offered me 150. I had this on auction or best offer. They offered me 150 and I got to tell you, it was tempting, but I had seen where some of these had sold in the 250, $300 range on worth point. So I held out and let my auction go. And it ended up selling for the auction uh, price of $199.99. So um, if it wouldn't have been for Worth Point, I may have taken that offer. So already right there, Worth Point made me an extra 50 bucks in my mind. Um, I do have a video, multiple videos on how uh, Worth Point is worth it and why. And I show you different circumstances just like this where it has paid off for me. And I do have a link down in the description for Worth Point if you want to check that out. So 50 cents into $199.99. So one of my favorite, my most recent favorite finds. So, I mean, it's just a little figurine. It's crazy. And I had no idea. It was just in a box. And the lady was so nice. She like wrapped everything up in paper and stuff. And I'm so glad that she did because one of those little ears could have broken so easy. All right, the next item I sold is this 2008 Jimmy Airblown inflatable Santa. It's five foot tall. Uh, I always pick up the inflatables. I do inflate them. As you can see in the picture to the side, I've got it blown up so that people can see that it actually works. Kind of a pain to do that, but I feel like it's worth it. It also allows me to check the condition. Is the beard dirty? Um, a lot of them I have not picked up because they've been dirty. I ended up I got that at a garage sale. I think it was five bucks and I sold it for $40 and the buyer was all in for $55.80. The next item I sold are these close to my heart acrylics clear stamps, one sassy strands with storage box. This was a long tail item. It took me a long time to sell. I don't know if I should have parted it out. Not something that I've sold a whole lot of. So I just left it in the box how I got it. I paid $3 for this at a garage sale and I took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. The next item are these vintage 1999 Furby plush Christmas ornaments. If you do not know, Furbies are a bolo, the ones that talk. They're super annoying, but they do sell. And a lot of people will pick them up to customize them. And these are totally different. These are just little plush ornaments. These came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I ended up selling these for uh, the sale price of $46.80 plus shipping. The next item is this Belle uh, Keepsake Disney Princess Porcelain Doll. And I recently picked up another one of these that is currently available in my store if anyone is interested. I do have that link down below. Uh, this girl, I believe I paid $5 for this one, but I did not have it in my notes. That's just from memory. And I'm not 100% sure. I think it was a garage sale. Sold it for $42 best offer. The buyer was all in for $67.12. The next item is this vintage Sesame Street women's jean jacket. Um, I had in my notes that I paid $5 for it at a garage sale, but I might have had that mixed up with another item. I feel like this was one of them that I got at that garage sale where everything was free. I don't know if you guys remember that. It was... Uh, it was during COVID and everything. And I think it was at the end when they were starting to let people back out of their houses. And um, I went to the garage sale and they weren't very busy and they just wanted everything gone. And I got tons of stuff free. That video is awesome. It's an older video, but man, oh man, I got lots of great stuff. I'll have to go back and watch it and see if this was in the footage. But anyway, this is a Sesame Street jean jacket. And I sold this for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. Okay, you guys, sorry, I got a little long 
talky talk on some of those, but I had some fun little stories like that bunny. Oh my goodness. And the Saki, I wanted you guys to see that because that was definitely something that was new to me that I thought was really cool. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite bolo that I shared? And again, I like to source cheap, but as you can see, I paid like eight bucks for a couple items. So that's a big payout for me. All right, you guys, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, one down below and a subscribe button. Boop, boop. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and check out another video. And as always, thanks for watching.